Hey, you didn't hear me. I see you didn't know. Man, that would be in the How's shape. it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie. Why is that I can tell it's a fucking Charles name? Uh, oh, I was like, okay, I can't get me that. Oh, because you're here. You're a wee shit, you know. Okay. Let's go. Fuck him up. Let's go see, we've cleared your front porch. Father, she is here! It is so good to see you again! I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring your head back to life? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I understand what... Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me, now! They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. Good. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. I mean, they do look cool. They saw a shop anyway. Now, what's this about a head? <laughs> do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. At his request. <laughs> he claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Melin. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Thankfully it was us. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. In the maggots. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. Okay, oh, she got this. That's enough. Oh, there he is. It worked. Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. <laughs> oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the witch in the woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either? Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. I mean, you were not a voice Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. <clears throat> Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. 
Because she's a god? Or have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. <laughs> Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. You better to tell us the way. The Say. World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. Mm. Do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. Yeah, you would you would not think that looking at a giant snake. Hey. Right. Let's get the fast travel on. So Mamir. Why did Freya spit in your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Hey, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. You scared Mine, that, that horn! No, I haven't yet to walk my girl. So there's a horn bring him to us. So I need he had to be the message there. Um then he'd be on this side, yeah, he'd be on this side. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. I mean, it's not anyway, it doesn't seem like no. our only concern is your knife. All right, wish me luck. I've still got it, lads. You remember me. All right, but that is a bad thing. Nice to know what he is actually. He knows the pain of your loss. He will help you. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned. 
tournament. What is he doing? Making sure we're heading in the right direction. Oh, so he's moving Listen closely it. now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Oh, the giant. Luckily, I know where it is. It's not far. You looked kind of mad for a moment. Ah, that. You thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. <laughs> Hey, hey, the water has dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Right, well, let's go down. So I don't have to go down towards boat. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Me will go to chisel. I wish to continue this study. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. And let's go then. did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. <laughs> enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? Mm -hmm. What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Nice guy. Taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. I mean, I should have got They've that taken train. three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and sprinkled Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Excuse me, where the fuck do you come from? Where the fuck do you come from?
wish this was just a nice kill thing. Oh, I guess there's more there. I'll change that Fuck. Yeah, it's me. Distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we see. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a Come. giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud so Thamu hoped it. to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Rimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Uh. Rimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, yeah. so far from home. Thor. Hey. And what happened next? You'll see. Oh, we see. Uh. Well, you fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But the truth is, the sweaty poor bag just got lucky. It's a shame that the giant died. I love this. Are you attacking? A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. <laughs> Oh, you're such a wee deck. Oh, you are such a wee shit. Oh, and there's got pal now. Attack. I don't know the frost now on him. See if I'm gonna get slowed in a bit. There we go. Lovely. We seek a chisel. The tip of one, yes. Very giant. How are we doing now? Can you turn it? No, we have to turn it. Oh, I see, I see, it's, it's to destroy the ice. Oh, neat trick one. Thanks, his idea. And... Lovely. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. So that's why it's all caked in snow. Yeah, it's like been under a massive body. <laughs> oh, 
open. Let's have a look. Uh, no more defense. Nah, I'm gonna keep it without a book. 